All right, guys, we found this pretty rare Megan interview about the name The Tig. It's very pretentious. Let's check the it out. The name The Tig comes from a wine called Tignanello, but oftentimes it's mispronounced Tignanello. And I had a sip of this wine about six or seven years ago, and it was the first time that I... Un okay, first of all, most pretentious thing you've ever seen in your life, or at least I've ever seen. It's ridiculous posing. I have no idea what her posing is supposed to mean. Um, again, she's like a variety act, uh, a variety act mixed with a little burlesque maybe, just whatever she could show off. understood what people meant when they said the body or legs or structure of wine. It was such an, oh, I get it, kind of. All right, I feel like I might make some of the wine lovers angry, but I'm pretty sure, aren't there several studies where they just lie about what the wine is and all the wine experts are still like, oh, this is the $10,000 wine when it, they just put any random wine. Uh, so I think a lot of stuff is just pretentiousness. Moment that for me, it became a TIG moment. That became my nickname for these ahas, just like with fashion, that fashion is not just clothes, it can be art. This is just stupid. Um, a TIG moment, um, you know, I, I think that's the sort of thing also, it's like quite narcissistic because she makes a name that makes absolutely no sense to anybody. Like it completely exists in her own mind, like an inside joke with herself. And it's just the expectation like, oh, people should like this. Like I see this with YouTube, right? Like obviously I do YouTube, you have to adjust so that people understand what you're saying, what you're doing. I used to go to these YouTube meetups and people would just do whatever they wanted. They'd be like filming in their bathroom with an echo just rambling about nothing and no one would watch because no one's interested. They just did whatever they felt like and thought people should love it. 